up. All right guys, what is up? Welcome to the vlog. Today, we are installing, you guys saw this before, but we are installing this coil on plug ignition system. This is supposed to help with power breakup, starting around the four to 450 horsepower range, which is exactly what I'm shooting for on the Evo. So, this is gonna be awesome, and it also looks really, really cool. It's RK Titanium. This is from Apex Power. They'll leave their Instagram and their website down below. You can read all about this stuff on their website, and it's a really awesome company, and this product is very, very nice. So, definitely check them out, but before we do that, I wanna show you guys this. I held a little uh, contest on my Twitter for what I should call the Evo on the license plate, and we came up with Gaijin 8. If you don't know what that's from, go watch Tokyo Drift. Also, also, all right, what dude. Up, Sean? Look at this box right here. Ooh. Any guesses what's in the box? Any what's guesses? The box? We'll give them we'll give them three, two, two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa. comment down below. Yeah. You, Let you me think. know. But but now you can tell. We've got some air struts for the NSX, but not anything today. We're gonna work with it. So we're on the management. Another day we'll make a video on that, but this is just a strut, so if you don't know what that is, that's like the like the coilover. Thing. Yeah, let's um, try it with a bag on it, basically with airlines and stuff. But yeah, still waiting on the management. Yeah, but we do need to test fit it to make sure that it is correct because this is a full custom kit for the NSX. So we just need to make sure that that fits up to this car. But we'll do that later. Yeah. Today, doing this, and this is actually really, really easy. Just take off this cover. We'll show you step by step. But we're gonna take off valve cover right now, and it's just held on by like six 10 millimeter bolts, and then we'll uh, show you guys from there. It looks like without this valve cover and if we replace it that's gonna look so gnarly I'm stoked once you got the valve cover off you just have some more tens connecting these stock plugs onto the motor unbolt all of these tens you can take out and unplug the uh, stock coil packs and then we can go ahead and install the new one I cannot wait to get rid of this nasty, gross header with the downpipe. Super all rusty, rusted. bro. All rusty. Yes. So my turbo should hopefully be done this week or next week. It's been a, it's been like almost a month, right. dude. It's it's definitely been a month since I ordered my turbo. So hopefully it gets done. But this was a special order turbo since I got a polished finish and they didn't have any in stock, unfortunately. So it definitely be worth it soon. But you got everything done. Good? Yeah, got all the bolts out. Not time to pull the coil packs out. So let's go ahead and unhook them. And you can just use like little nipples. Oh wait, you have one bolt right here. Oh, it's all it's juicy. Can you see it? Juicy nipples. <laughs> Dude, why is this bolt so long? Oh my god. <laughs> long ass bolt, dude. Alright, this nipple's in a little drips there. Oh, did you hear that? Alright, so ready? Yep. <laughs> grab it, Sean. Dude, I'm having a hard time with my little hand, dude. Grab it. Sean, grab it. God, let me get this thing up. Oh. This is good. Alright. 
All right, we got all the stock plugs out of the motor now. It is now time to install a brand new Apex powered coil on ignition system. So when you buy the kit, it comes with everything you need, except you do need to buy a 15 amp fuse because the ignition fuse is a 10 amp fuse and whenever you put this in there, it requires you to upgrade to a 15 amp fuse. So be sure you go out to AutoZone and just buy you know, whichever ones you can find. It comes with everything you need, all the hardware, all of the coil packs, you are good. So this is how this is how your setup should look. You just need to plug in there. And then this one. Yeah, and then plug that one in right there. Got it. And that's how your setup will look. We're gonna go ahead and bolt in and make sure the uh, other two coil packs are secure in there and then we're gonna install it. All of the coil packs are installed and nice and sturdy. We have the spacers mounted up. An important thing is to make sure that you install these exactly how they were before and they, with the correct spacing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install these. We need to wipe this off before we actually you know, get going because this thing's pretty gross looking. But. Dang, got good fitment and everything too. That looks so much better. That's sick, dang. Really nice fitment. A big thing with aftermarket parts and stuff for the motor, a lot of times the holes don't line up and these holes are actually perfect. So very nice work by Apex Powered. We're gonna go ahead and clip in all of these and then we need to change out that fuse before we start the car just to make sure we don't blow the ignition. All right, we'll reconfigure all that later, but um, let's go ahead and bolt everything in. Oh, let's oh, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, because we're not gonna use the valve cover anymore. So actually, uh, the hardware for this is really nice as well. If you get the titanium option, they also send you titanium bolts. There you go. Titanium bolts. Ooh. Yeah, nice. that's nice. That's nice, so. Very nice. Get an Allen key and just uh, screw those in. Boom, all right, we got the coil pack installed and cleaned up. It looks really good. Yeah, dude, super clean. That's nice. So after installing these, uh, dyno sheets have proven like a five to 10 horsepower increase as well as smoother driving without any tune at all. These do not require a tune, so you don't have to go to a dyno, do your e-tune, anything like that. These are just plug and play as long as you switch out the fuse, which we need to do right now. Okay, so in case you don't know where the ignition fuse is, I'm gonna show you because it is kind of confusing. So in an Evo 8 and I believe Evo 9 as well, there's a hidden compartment right here that you can just, there's a tab, pop the tab in, maybe. Oh, sh okay, that's a little aggressive, but here is your, uh, here are your fuses that you'll need to change. I'll show you which one is the correct one. I don't know how well you guys can see that. The fuses are all the way back there and that one on the very top row, all the way to the left, is the fuse you need to change. So I'm gonna grab a 15, change that, and then we'll start the car. All right, 15. 15 amp fuse is in the car. Now time to start it up and go for a little drive. Ready to start this thing up, bro? Yeah, bro, let's hear it. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference at all, honestly, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead, let this thing warm up a little bit, and then go for a little drive, see if there's, see if I can honestly notice any difference um, just off the top of my head. Put it in the box. All right, here is the test to see if I can notice anything just off of these coil plugs. All right, we're about to, I'm about to do a nice little pull here. So good, so I mean, to be completely 100% honest, I, I don't really feel anything, but like I said, the purpose of these is to stop power breakup when you start hitting like the four to 500 power range. So it's completely normal not to feel anything with pretty much stock power, which I have right now. Cause I mean, only mods I have are a test bike and the exhaust for now. So, uh, but definitely if I didn't have those, uh, when I do get to the four to 500 power range, I would notice a big difference, but we just got that, that mod done first, so we don't have any issues in the long run on the dyno and stuff. But the car still feels and pulls awesome. Thanks for giving me a heads up. 
dickhead. This thing pulls so hard, dude. Oh, that's a sick S2000. Last pull of the night. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I love this car. Oh my god, this is stock power. This is stock power. That's unreal. Wait, unreal. Dude, wait until <laughs> custom turbo. <laughs> we got a bridge. Mm -hmm. Ready for this? Yep. Ooh, boy. I want a f***ing Evo now. Fuck, I wish oh, I had an Evo. Oh, you heard it here first, guys. Nah, man. No, no way. All right guys, we finally made it back. The car ran absolutely amazing. Now, if you're interested in this product, I'm going to leave Apex Powered website down below in the description. Definitely go check it out. You can read up all the information on this product. I'll just see how awesome it is. So be sure to check the link down below. Awesome. Before we end today, me and Sean are going on a little bro date here. I absolutely love scary movies and there's a new one out called a Quiet Place came out and I really, really want to go see it. So we're going to see that tonight and I'm going to give you guys a comprehensive review after the movie's done. Ready to see this movie? Let's do it, bro. This Evo gang. Damn. Oh, oh, it's clean. Very nice. Very nice. It's yeah. lit. Damn. That's clean. All the cars are out tonight. That's what I love about where we live. There's always cool cars when we go walk around everywhere, which is really cool. But movie theater's right there. Almost there. Dang. So. That's the one we're going to see. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is about to be good. You guys all know this, but I am a scary movie fanatic. Scary movies are my absolute favorite. So I'm very excited, especially because John Karinsky, or however you say it's in it. Let's go to the movies. Make sure you get your farts out now because I'm not trying to kill anybody there. <laughs> Two hours later. Seven, so out of ten. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. It started off really slow. That was yeah. very, very slow. But... Story, story was okay. Seven out of ten. It was, it was a good movie. <sighs> well, Sean, lost. All right, guys, we made it back from movies. Ate some dinner, playing some Fortnite. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have a lot to edit, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like this, please like it and subscribe. Peace out.